Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, eat folks on platter videos, series videos I've been doing for the while. I go with their child food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. Excuse me. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, folks, I'm clearly a little bit gassy. But that aside, uh, it's a super simple format, folks. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to try out food and or drink items. You know, gassiness be damned. The show must go on. All that good stuff. Really, it's just an extreme lack of professionalism on my part, but eh, I'm okay with that. <sighs> Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside the truck and I am wearing a great shirt that's not only awesome, but it's pretty appropriate. Because, folks, what shirt am I wearing? Because I always like to highlight the super cool shirts that I wear. Boom! It's my Divide Devour shirt. Which, considering that it says Devour, it, it works nicely. Uh, Divide Devour is a local Illinois band. Uh, I am cool with their drummer. He's a super great dude. And uh, just recently, he went over there and he, he hit me up on the old social medias. And he's like, dude! You want a couple of shirts? And I was like, Fuck yeah, I want a couple of shirts. I love shirts. It's like one of my favorite things. It keeps my torso from being exposed to the elements. Now, I'm not afraid of the elements, folks. I am, however, afraid of going over there and potentially causing car accidents and planes from falling out of the air as the sunlight hits and reflects off my pasty white body. So it's a... It's a public service uh, thing for multiple reasons. Because that, and then on top of that, nobody needs to see this. Children would go blind. It would just, it would, it, it, nobody needs that. But anyway, what am I trying for y'all today? What are we doing here? By the way, check out Divide Devour. They're very awesome. If nothing else, you, come on, man. I love this shirt. Like, it's minimalist, but it's also super smart. Well, with a little division sign in the middle. What am I trying for you, though? Boom! It's a thing. It is... Old El Paso Fiesta Twists Queso Flavored. <sighs> and it says, satisfy your southwestern flavor cravings with a crispy, crunchy snack from Old El Paso. I think Old El Paso, aren't they the ones who, like, don't they make, like, the tortillas or something? They make something. Like, they don't just make these. I just don't... I don't know. I don't buy tortillas. Like... If I go buy, if I get, like, you know, Mexican food, I just get Mexican food. I don't buy the components and build the Mexican food. I don't trust myself to do it well. But, yeah, this is a new thing. It's been out for a little bit. I've been meaning to get to it. And, finally, for all intents and purposes, what it looks like to me are basically those cinnamon twists that Taco Bell sell. Like, the things that they try to pass off as churros, even though they're definitely not churros. Which, by the way, they have a cinnamon version of these which I'm guessing are basically just the Taco Bell ones. I'm not probably not going to review those because I feel like everybody's tried those. But I am doing this, and then my next one, I'll give you a little sneak preview. Boom! Is the Zesty Ranch. But like I said, we'll get to that in the next review. Let's try out some things because food and such. Oh, man. It's warm. What does that smell like? That smells like nacho cheese bugles. If these taste like nacho cheese bugles, I'll be a happy Brandon Wenzel. Mmm. You know what? That's not entirely dissimilar from fucking nacho cheese bugles. That actually tastes pretty similar. However, it's different. For one thing, the obviously the texture very different. You know, it's that sort of a like puff type of texture. You know, it pretty much just disintegrates as soon as it gets to your mouth. There's a crunch to it, but like I imagine if you just let it sit on your tongue long enough, it would probably just dissolve. Um, that could be said of anything if you left it there long enough. I would imagine, but maybe not diamonds. No. Anybody ever try to eat a diamond? I mean, for, like, reasons that aren't heist-related. But the flavor is really similar. It reminds me a lot of nacho cheese bugles, which is good for me. I love nacho cheese bugles. Uh, it's definitely a little bit different, though. It has a little extra something, for sure. It's got more flavor to it. Which, 
uh, nacho cheese bugles have a lot of flavor, so the fact that they're able to pack that in, and that's just with one, you know, like, it's important that they manage to pack in as much flavor, because this isn't like a chip, where, like, I can just, you know, grab a handful of these things and, you know, amp up the flavor. I could maybe do, like, three or four of these at a time, and it wouldn't be pretty. I'm not going to do that, but... So the fact that it's so flavorful is really nice. Um, and yeah, I think the key difference between it and the uh, the flavor of the nacho cheese bugles is whereas the nacho cheese bugles are like nacho cheese flavored, this is queso flavored. So it's got a little extra something to it. It gives a little extra... I apologize. That, that was unnecessary. And if I've gone over there and scarred you terribly by watching me my terrible dance well you can sign a class action lawsuit i guess and we'll all get to meet in person i'll hire peter francis Dracy, who by that point will be like 847 and still just look like he's in his 60s um if you don't know who peter francis Dracy is well you definitely don't live in illinois <laughs> look him up but anyway yeah i like these these are good like they're they're a nice blend of flavor and texture, because the texture is definitely very similar to, uh, if not pretty much identical to the, the Taco Bell things. And I, I mean, I'm okay with those things, but like, I never order them. It, the only time I ever get them is like when I get like a cravings box from someplace, uh, or, uh, for like a sp specific meal. And sometimes it'll come with them. That's it. These I like, I like these more because they're not trying to be like a half-assed churro. I mean, some of them are, apparently. But these ones, it's like, no, they're just cheesy and tasty, and I like them. One thing I will mention, I mention this when I do chip stuff. Here's the bag, about the size of my head. Now these, I'll be a little bit more forgiving with, because they do take up a lot of space in the bag, but we still could have filled this like two-thirds of the way. You know we could, Al oh, old El Paso. But yeah, man, I'm down with these. Oh, yeah, yeah, here's the other one. Yeah, literally one is called Cinnamon Churro. If you want to, if, if you're interested in my take on the Cinnamon Churro one, let me know in the comments. I'll give it a go. But otherwise, let's maybe I do a comparison against the Taco Bell one. Does Taco Bell still sell it? I don't know. Anyway, um, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend them? Yes. And yeah, these are good. They're a nice snack. They're, I don't know for me if they would replace my love of the nacho cheese uh, bugles. Uh, you know, I like the crunchiness of the bugles, plus it's got the corn taste. But these are like a nice side to it. You know, like a nice, nice, you know, spicy cousin. We're doing it again. I like these. You know, I like that they give it a little bit extra. I like that they've got a lot of flavor to them. I'm down with these. I got, I've got nothing against them. And as for recommending them, I mean, they're new. Give them a go. If you don't like them, oh well. You can go over there and give the bag to somebody who does. That's what I've had to do a few times with some of these videos. I reviewed uh, a while ago, I reviewed this product called Flock, which are these fried chicken skin uh, chips, which sounded fantastic, but I was less than enthused to go watch those videos if you want my, my full take on them. And especially like the, the salt and vinegar ones, man, it just wasn't for me. And I found one guy in my work who fucking absolutely loved them. And I'm like, take them. Take them. I don't need them. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. Folks, you can go over there and have yourselves a truly... Whatever old El Paso is known for selling besides these rest of your life. Because I, I think it's tortillas. But like, I mean, I don't know. But they're clearly very successful. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time? I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, it's not always easy to not be an asshole, folks. Seems easy. Not always easy. Especially when it's hot and you're in a car and you can't turn on the air conditioning because the phone will pick up the air conditioning noise and it's annoying. I have a few videos that are <laughs> have that problem on my channel. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do, damn it. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, and maybe you're going to watch this review that I've done here. I mean, presumably that's what you're doing. 
And you're going to go over there you're going to be like, wait a second, Brandon, old El Paso doesn't just make tortillas. They also make double-decker buses and uh, Zeppelins. And then you'll go over there and type that up in the comments, and I'll be like, I'll be damned, they do in fact make Zeppelins. That seems unusual, but I guess someone has to make Zeppelins, and apparently old El Paso needs to make some Zeppelins. By the way, old El Paso, if you're not making Zeppelins yet, hit me up. We'll figure this shit out. Like that. Or conversely, uh, don't do that, I guess. I mean, you could. It's fine if you have any fun facts about old El Paso. I doubt they make Zeppelins, but... You never know, man. Some companies, like their parent companies and shit. I mean, do we need Zeppelins anymore? You know what? I think we do. Not because they're all that practical or useful. They're just fun. And there's not many around anymore. You see a Goodyear blimp every now and again. I think there's like three left in the fucking world. Uh, Zeppelins. Bye.